Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome to Young and Investing. For those who are new here, my name is Quinton and in this video, we are going to talk about what is in my opinion, the most important sign to the crypto and blockchain space of at least the last several months. A new alliance has been formed and it is called Interwork Alliance. And a lot of big companies and three cryptocurrencies are involved in this brand new project. But before we talk about that, I want to give a shout out to the long term partner of my channel, and that is Crypto.com. So yesterday I made a review about Cardano ADA, and I know a lot of people who watch this video are Cardano holders. But I forgot to tell them that if they want to earn annual interest on their Cardano holders, they can do that on the Crypto.com application and earn up to 6% every year on their Cardano holdings. This is not only the case for Cardano, but you can also do it for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, and many other cryptocurrencies. Another thing I want to point out about Crypto.com is that at the end of the month, they're celebrating their fourth anniversary, and they're doing that by selling their Bitcoin on their exchange with a 50% discount. You heard it right, 50% of your Bitcoin purchases only on the 30th of June, and it is limited to an allocation of $2 million. Only the first 25,000 users will have the chance to buy Bitcoin at a discount of 50%. So they need to sign up via this link. So I will put in the description down below a link towards this tweet and you need to sign up with this link if you want to buy Bitcoin at a 50% discount. And I guess everyone wants to do that, right? Apart from that, they're also giving away $120,000 in Bitcoin. So pretty cool, right? And for those who don't know what crypto.com is, well, basically it's the biggest crypto card company in the world. But apart from that, you can also earn on it. You can get a credit on it. You can pay with crypto.com pay, which is being integrated in more and more places. But like I said, what's pretty cool about it is that it comes with a Visa debit card. So really cool, right? And you get a lot of advantages on depending on which card you have. So you can go for a free card, which is plastic and you get 1% cashback or you go for a metal card, but for that you need to stake some MCO tokens. So for a tier one metal card, which is this one right here, you need to stake 50 MCO tokens. So you need to stake that for at least six months. So currently that is worth $250 to get like a metal card. Pretty cool, right? You get 2% cash back, you get also free Spotify. That is really, really cool. Then the second tier metal card, you need to stake 500 MCO tokens, which is $2,500 more or less. 3% cashback, free Spotify, free Netflix, and free airport lounge access as well. As you can see, we have some more tiers as well, uh, but I'm not going into detail about that, but it is really cool. So I would say go check it out. There is a link in the description down below. And if you sign up with that and you go for a metal card, then you get $50 for free. So really cool, right? I would say go sign up with the link in the description down below. All right, now let's go back to the Interwork Alliance. Like I said, this is probably the biggest sign towards the crypto and blockchain space of at least the last several months. So let's have a look to what the Interwork Alliance is. Basically, it's a platform neutral nonprofit organization dedicated to creating the standard frameworks needed to increase innovation across token enabled ecosystems. And now pay attention because in my opinion, this is the most important sentence of them all. Distributed applications. We know them better as decentralized applications. So decentralized applications have the potential to disrupt global economics. But the wide scale availability of different platform types has stalled web scale adoption of tokenized assets. This is huge what they're saying right here, because they basically say that decentralized applications have the potential to disrupt global economics, but there are too many blockchain platforms right now so that companies that want to work with blockchain or build decentralized applications don't know which one to choose. And Interwork Alliance want to solve that problem. 
What is required is standardization at the business level, which would allow companies to be able to agree on distributed business models without choosing a platform first. The Interwork Alliance will set the standards for building distributed applications, including appropriate frameworks for tokenizing items of value, writing contracts over those tokens, and privacy preserving analytics of multi party data. This introduction should make you excited. If I was reading this, I thought, like, whoa, this is really, really cool. But then the fun part needed to start to check out who is involved in this project. So let's have a look at that very quickly. We see that launch members include Accenture, Amber Data, Blockchain Technology Partners, Catastone, Chainlink, Decra, Digital Asset, DLA Piper, the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, and Vision Blockchain, Hasira, Hedera Hashgraph, IBM, ING, Microsoft, NASDAQ, NEO Global Development, R3, Six Digital Exchange, Tokensoft, UBS, and Web3 Labs, and many more. And there are also some other associate members joining to support the Interwork Alliance activities. I'm not going to read all of them, but there are also some very interesting institutes um, among these uh, group as well. So I think if you read this, you can already see that three cryptocurrencies are involved in the Interwork Alliance, this new alliance formed by many big companies and we see that these three are Chainlink, Hedera Hashgraph and NEO. But apart from that we see some very big technology companies as well such as IBM, Microsoft, Nasdaq and many more. And apart from all these big tech companies there are also some other interesting companies um, and consortiums involved in this alliance. So basically this alliance is an alliance of different consortiums, cryptocurrencies, and technology companies. And that is very huge because their aim is to bring blockchain to the people and be able to give like a one-stop solution in very easily going to tokenize stuff um, or, or even uh, build decentralized applications, etc., on blockchain technology. So that is their aim. So this is very, very big. So let's have a look at some of these founding members that you might not know who they are. So let's start with blockchain technology partners. And they have two big partners called Digital Asset, at which we will have a look in just a minute, and Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services is a partner of blockchain technology partners. The second one I want to point out is Digital Asset. Digital Asset is backed by global innovation leaders such as ABN Amro, Accenture, BNP Paribas, uh, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, CMA Group, CME Group, sorry, uh, the German Stock Exchange, IBM, JP Morgan, Santander. I mean, like, really, really big companies are backing the Digital Asset Company. Now, let's have a look at the next one. And that is Envision Blockchain was also in that list. They work with Intel, iExec, they work with Booying, they work with Consensus. And of course, Consensus is one of the biggest cryptocurrency companies. They work with Corda, which is from R3, which we will have a look at in just a minute. And many, many more companies that Envision Blockchain is working with. So some of these companies are not directly working with the Interwork Alliance, but, but they are indirectly because they are partnered with some of the members of the founding members of this alliance. And we also see, for example, here, Microsoft and Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, which will come back in just a minute as well. But let's have a look at the most important one because this is R3. And R3 is probably the most important consortium apart from the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance in the crypto space. So R3, who is involved in R3 Consortium and also in the Interwork Alliance? That is Barclays, BBVA, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, Credit Suisse, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Royal Bank of Scotland, State Street, UBS, Bank of America, Mellon, Citibank, Commerce Bank, Deutsche Bank, HSBC, Mitsubishi Financial Group, Morgan Stanley, National Australia Bank, Royal Bank of Canada, then a Scandinavian bank, which I cannot um, pronounce, um, Société Générale, the French bank, etc. So many, many more. The list goes on. And the R3 Consortium is one of the founding members of the Interwork Alliance. So not directly, but indirectly, all of these 
financial institutions are involved in the Interwork Alliance. So really, really cool. And we see some more names like Tokensoft, also a very important name in the industry. Tokensoft has 500 million um, raised $500 million from over 50 countries, and there is $3 billion in global sales in the pipeline. Also very important partners for Tokensoft. And then we also have another very important company, and that is Web3. Because Web3 is partners with Microsoft, again, Enterprise, Ethereum Alliance, Pegasus, and some more companies that are not on the website, but there are some more. Now, I was reading this right here, so this article on the Interwork Alliance website, and I was reading this quote right here. So companies want to be able to create token-based business models without having a platform technology in mind. For this approach to work, standards are urgently needed around defining what a token is and how its contractual behaviors will work, said Interwork Alliance President Ron Rosnick. And I read this name and I said like, hmm. Ron Rosnick, I know this name. So I Googled his name and I came to his LinkedIn page right here. And we see it is the right Ron Rosnick because he's president at Interwork Alliance. And I checked out his previous work experience and I saw that he is the executive director or has been the executive director of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance for more than two years. So we can see that on his LinkedIn, it says that he quit in May of 2020. And then in June, he started as the president of Interwork Alliance. But we see that there is also a clear connection between the Interwork Alliance and the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance because it's already the third time we come across the Enterprise, uh, the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. So very big because as we know, the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance is probably the biggest organization, the biggest consortium of big um, companies that are wanting to work with blockchain technology via Ethereum. A lot of Fortune 500 companies are part of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance together with many, many more companies. So there is some kind of a connection right there between the Interwork Alliance and the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. But for now, that is not entirely clear yet because there is not a lot of information already been released about the Interwork Alliance. They will release some more information on the 22nd of June in a live stream. So I will go check that out and let you guys know if there are some important updates in this live stream. But as I said, this is very very important news for the crypto and blockchain space. There are three cryptocurrencies involved in this big, big project, which are Chainlink, Terra Hashgraph, and NEO. So let's check out what their role will be in the Interwork Alliance in the future, really keeping an eye on this one. All right, guys, that is it for the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe by hitting that subscribe button down below to stay updated with all the latest cryptocurrency news, reviews, my own portfolio, and much more. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up as well. I really, really appreciate that. I thank you for watching, and I see you next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.